Hello, BookTube, and welcome back to the Future History Project. That's Isaac Aswell's Future History, where we're reading through his stories and other writers. And we will be starting uh, week three uh, tomorrow. However, uh, from previously uh, mentioned programming, uh, there are some slight changes for the next couple of weeks. Uh and there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, they fit better, but the main reason is uh, I, I needed to do something because on the fourth week, uh, there are two stories from... Um, uh, let's get the book here. I was able to get it to hand. Uh, this is a bad paperback, but it's all there. Is Asimov's Friends. And they're uh, two or three uh, Susan Calvin stories, uh, or should be. <laughs> um, and But they're in here, and it's a little difficult to get this book. So I have pushed it back to week six, I think it is. Um, Yes, week six. Um, so we, uh, so there's more time to get it. So next week, I will put everything down up to week six uh, in here, um, to the end of week six. Yeah, because that then uh, finishes uh, for the moment uh, the short stories before we head into three novels, uh, the uh, Susan Susan Calvin novels, uh, I Robot by Mickey Zucker Reichert. Uh, Reichert. So next week, uh, we will do Segregationalist. Uh, let's get together. The Tricentenary Incident. And those are all in here. And then we start, uh, we got two of the four uh, Powell and Donovan stories. There's four in here. And they're kind of humorous. I, I, I really enjoy them. Uh, I know the fans are split on them. Some of them don't like them, but I, I thoroughly enjoy them. So we got First Law and Runabout. And then for week four, we got Reason and Catch That Rabbit. And those are the, the rest of the, uh, the uh, Powell and Donovan stories. Then we start the Sue and Calvin stories uh, in, at, uh, in week four. And then week five are all um, Susan Calvin. And week six is all Susan Calvin. And then the three novels. But I'll, I'll put that. Well, actually, I'll put down to week seven because that's that's pretty clear. I'll, I'll put down below uh, the reading list for week seven. And again, uh, these are not in perfect chronological order. I, I had really hoped to be able to do this because I, I, I spent a bit of time to try to find uh, because I it's. 12 years or so since I've I've read these was the last time that I read through all of Asimov's uh, future history uh, stories and novels and I it, there was there was some that I could, you could clearly date sort of uh, and you know that all the robot stories are pre uh, pre uh, robot novels uh, more or less um, and the the, uh, the the Empire novels, uh, but the exact times I wasn't sure, so I I I'd found like many lists online, and by deciphering them, it looked like what I did was was pretty good. But right from the beginning, um, it it showed that it wasn't quite quite right. So it's it's not that important at the moment for the uh, uh, for the chronology. Uh, and I think because of that, I wanted to group a few things together uh, that to me made a little more sense, especially the Susan Calvin and the uh, Powell and Donovan uh, ones, uh, because they do sort of overlap a little bit in, in some way. So it's going to be the Powell and Donovan and then Susan Calvin. So uh, that's that's where it's going to go. So I do apologize for anybody who have maybe read ahead uh, a little bit. Uh, but, uh, it's, it's just means that you might have to read a few extra stories next week. Uh, and they're, but they're all in here. That's the thing. They're, they're all in here up until, uh, week six. So we, we, we stick with 
the complete robot or iRobot if you have a copy of iRobot I think um, I think the four Powell and Donovans are in here I'm not sure well it actually has Robbie in here um, no it doesn't have all the uh, Susan Calvin in here but it's got Robbie, uh, which we've already read, but that, because of, in retrospect, he interpolated uh, Susan Calvin as a teenager uh, in Robbie in the 1950s. It wasn't in the original story. And a lot of other things like the U.S. Robots and Mechanical Men Company. Um, it was called something else. I can't remember what now in the original story. But uh, but that's fine. We've We've read that one. Uh, and it seems to be a favorite um, of all time. And it's, it was his first robot story as well uh, that he wrote. So uh, originally, uh, and then, you know, with the interpolations uh, uh, in the 1950s. So anyway, I hope everybody's enjoying um, the, the, the story so far. And uh, please sound out in the comments, any questions, queries, comments. Uh, my email's down there as well. And uh, we'll be heading off next week uh, to read. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be continuing reading, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, as I say, uh, there's no. I'm not sure. Uh, I have week seven here, um, which is going to have. Um, well. We'll try, well, at the moment, we'll try, say, week, uh, a, a novel a week uh, for these. I'm not sure how that's going to be. Any Anybody's thoughts, if, if they've got the novels. So I'll put week seven, eight, and nine uh, for the uh, three, the trilogy. Now, if that's too much um, to, to read for, for many, then we can, we can adjust that. We can maybe do a novel uh, every two weeks or something like that. Uh, but they're not that big. Um, I don't have one to hand here, but they, I, I don't remember them being that thick. Uh, maybe 250 pages or so, maybe 300 at the most. Uh, but don't quote me on that until I actually pick one up and look at it. Uh, but yeah, so if, if you have any thoughts on that, do do sound out in the comments or email me. Uh, but I will put it uh, in as one a week at the moment uh, with you know, penciled in and we can change that because we've got a little bit of time. And we also now have time to get, uh, see in week six, we got, uh, the foundations. Uh, oh yeah. Week six, we got, uh, um, yeah. Uh, foundations friends, uh, to get that book. And then we've got, uh, robot, uh, dreams. It's a collection. And then in row, uh, and yeah, so those those two uh, will be needed for to, to get the full stories of the Susan Calvin ones. Um, and I need to actually look to make sure because I've read some of this book, but I've not read all of it. And I'm hoping my information is correct that they are Susan Calvin uh, stories. And. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, the one here, Pappy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going on the assumption that it is uh, Susan Calvin, or at least um, they're, they fit within that period uh, if she's not in there uh, explicitly. Um, but I don't know uh, where they fit, but they're, they're put in after Asimov's stories. Uh, and then, and then we do the, these three that are in here. So yeah, any, any questions, any concerns, uh, do sound out in the comments or send me an email and enjoy. Take care.